Good morning, everybody. Oh, welcome back. This is going to be an insanely busy day for me. <laughs> so this week, at the end, toward the end of this week, today's Friday, I received several packages that I didn't know were coming right this moment. And I, one, I did not even expect at all, but we'll get to that another time. So I'm going to be doing all three videos today. You'll get one today, and then I'll space them out over the next little bit. Because on the 20th, which will be Wednesday, I go in for my second COVID vaccine. And based on how I felt after the first one, I expect a few days to be kind of I don't want to do anything. So, got my coffee, hope you have your coffee or tea, whatever works for you in the mornings. It is insanely early to be filming, but that's nothing new for me. It's actually not as early as sometimes I've filmed, when it's been like 4 in the morning. But no, I was waiting for sunlight this time. So, it's a little bit after 5 o'clock, and yeah. Here we go. Five or six? Somewhere in the midst of that. Anyway, I've been up a while. Watched a few videos. Yeah, you know how that goes. I think it's close to six. At any rate, so one of the packages I received was from GBFKE. Oh, I love GBFKE. You guys, seriously. Super budget friendly. So far, all the quality I've gotten has been really, really nice. They're wonderful to deal with. Their customer service is awesome. Please. In the description, I will put um, any information I have that is useful to you. I need to get a code from them for you guys. Anyway. So, we have three packages today. We have the baby package. We have the middle size package and we have the big package which got crinkled at the end by the mail anyway that's okay it is obviously poured glue we will be just fine so I'm going to start with the smallest and work my way up I'm curious I've taken it out of its outside packaging because obviously you all do not need my personal information I don't need you guys having my personal information. Um, and I've cut these open, but let's see what they are. And that was just so that we could save a little bit of time. So, here we go. First one. Okay. Let's see what we have. Now, I do know what I requested from GBFKE because, you know, I just, I just lost my little snowflake and... I do absolutely believe in angels, and I, I call Snowy, Frosty, and Christy my esky angels. That is so pretty. I usually won't do anything with people because the faces, ugh, give me the creeps. But you can see this image is a young girl with an angel behind her. And I just thought, how beautiful, how absolutely beautiful. The symbols are gorgeously clear. Let's see if you can see that. Okay, yes, good. You can. I don't know if it picks up on camera, but there is a little bit of glitter in the canvas, which I know for some of you is a big deal. This does have the DMC codes on it, which I always love. Now, I have found with GBFKE the size that you see is the size of the canvas so I always estimate that when they say 30 by 40 that's going to mean the image size will be 25 by 35 and it's always right about that you always give them one to two centimeters you know of difference because you know manufacturing but we have 20 colors and I'm going to flatten this out a little bit because obviously I want these to flatten out I am almost done with that very cute crystal 
Labrador from them. I just haven't had a whole lot of time for diamond painting lately because our friend Boots, who I refer to as Phil, has been in the hospital with COVID. So, I don't get it. Of all the people, she doesn't leave her house except to go to the grocery store and she wears an N95, a KN95 mask. So, you would think she would have been safe, but <sighs> truly nobody is safe from this. Alright, so, strangely enough, these are not individually bagged. Typically, that's, you know, they're all baggied for me. This is a very, very, very basic toolkit. Pink pen with a one-placer, a little square of wax, a green boat. That, you know, now that I've been doing this a while, that just seems so tiny. <laughs> At first, I was like, ooh, lots of space. Ooh, this one is square. We have square diamonds, which I love. So here we go, happy sound, crinkle, because why is that a happy sound? Well, it means you got something pretty and new. Grab new toys, folks. Okay, that was pretty quick. So let's make sure we have all of our colors. See if there's anything really spectacular in the colors to show you. Number one, good. Okay. Let's go through what we have here. Because I kind of need to know. And they're all in one complete link. Ooh, pretty purple. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you like pink, that's a very pretty pink. Eleven, twelve. Ooh, I like that color. What color is that? I'm curious. Yep. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, pretty pe deep peach color, 19, and 20. Winter white. So we have everything here. Everything. Everything, everything. I like when we get everything. <laughs> that is always a happy moment when you realize everything you're supposed to have is there. So, let me put this back in here. The background noise you're hearing, folks, is the outdoors. <laughs> we live very close to a newly constructed freeway, which uh, I wish weren't there. When we first moved here, it was very quiet, and they weren't expecting to finish the freeway as quickly as they did. Shockingly, yes, there are states where Sometimes construction is ahead of schedule. <laughs> All right, so that is our little one, painting number one. I'm looking forward to doing this. I am. Nice, soft colors. These just go in a container until I find a way to appropriately dispose of them. Okay, so painting number two. Let's see what we have. What have we got? I don't know. I'm not sure. Because truthfully, my brain is fried and I've forgotten what I requested. Ah, another angel. Big shocker right now with the way my mentality is, guys. Okay. Ooh, very pretty. All this beautiful filigree work behind the angel's wings. And the wings are gorgeous. And it looks like it's a statue of some sort. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, guys, you know me. I'm not into the skulls and things, but... I get it. I get it. I do. Uh, I can't fit her on camera. She's big. So this is a 40 by 60. And it's big. It's only got 23 colors, sadly. I would love to have seen that have more, but it seems to be sufficient. I can tell you that the only symbol that might be a little difficult for me to see is number six right in here this C but let me pull that up it's like a granite kind of color from what I can tell or concrete color concrete angel interesting with colorful wings who knows maybe it's a statue of an angel maybe hmm 
and she has chains on her ankles. So she's captive. That's so sad. And I'm having trouble flattening covers out today because I don't want to put my sleeve into things. So how about if I play with that later? Because I'm pretty sure that this will get put away for just a bit. But in the meantime, let me see if I can unroll it slightly for you. Just so you're looking at more of her. There we go. There we are. I'm sorry for the reflection, everybody. I do want to check the sticky on this because of this cover. I've never had a cover of this flimsy. Oh, it, it's, it's nice and sticky. Nice and sticky. Cool. I like nice and sticky. But I've never had one of the covers be this thin and flimsy. That's so odd to me. Yeah, I'm going to have to fix it. Anyway. Same very, very basic kit. I like these baggies, though, because they're good for when you have, you know, excess you have to put in there. So there's that. This one is apparently a round. Okay. I'm more of a square girl, but... I still like round diamonds, too. You know, we love them all. And most people feel that round diamond paintings go faster. I don't find that it makes a difference for me. I'm actually a little quicker with squares, but I think that's... Ooh-wee. Look at... Oh, look at that color. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Ah. Okay, so we do again have the DMC codes, which we always want. We have one at the bottom left, bottom right, and top left also. Awesome. I always like to see that. And they did the same thing on the smaller angel. These are the only, believe it or not, the only angels that I have. Diamond painting wise. The only other angel in my house, besides my Esky babies, is uh, an angel of music that hangs in my room. And it's a beautiful little... Uh, porcelain wall hanging. It's gorgeous. My daughter Sarah got it from my dad and I have kept it ever since. And it hangs here in my room. My son and I have different belief systems so it's okay. I just keep those particular things in here. Alright. So, let's make sure we've got all 23 colors. I can tell you, 23. Oh, it's, it's showing up more blue for you and more turquoise for me. Like a, a Navajo tur turquoise, the kind you find here on the reservation up north. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then, this color looks like 3371 to me. Nope. Yep. $37.99. I forgot about that one. Interesting. Okay, let's find number one. Sorry, my brain's getting caught up in the colors today. Which is not the norm for me. Well, wait a minute. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, lordy be, there is a lot of 310. What's like the main color in this painting? That's okay. That's okay. I haven't had a, a 310 rich painting in a while, so we'll see how we do. So here's number one, which is that typical gray that's uh, a warm gray, so it's it's almost a brownish gray. It's uh, 169. So here's number one, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bags of 310. Wow, I'm going to be busy with the 310s. That's number two. <laughs> Three. Ooh, 12 is gorgeous. That's the almost the color of my sweater. I love that. Okay. Turn these right side up. And I will show you more of the color than the number. 
that's kind of a it re, it's reading so much darker for you guys it's not it's like a camouflage green mm. pretty orangey color two bags of 17 mm. and they are all here but number 23 I think is my favorite color in this mm. big shocker me liking keels and turquoise who would have thought <laughs> okay so I will rebundle this up to some degree and move it aside because I like to keep them in some sense of organization so I don't lose anything or get them mixed up you know because it's me and that could easily happen I have a lot going on lately <laughs> a lot a lot a lot a lot there we go okay and I will put those back in their bag now like I said the reason I do this is because that way I can find things there is another advantage to it then if one of the bags were to break diamonds were to come out they're still contained you guys so that always helps then they are still contained and I get the fun of hearing crinkle crinkle all over again <laughs> Sometimes I like that sound. Sometimes it's annoying. I get it. Okay. But sorry, I have to make sure that I can find everything when I need it. Otherwise, this is not going to be fun. Alright, so for our final one. I know what this one is, and this, because it's the, the one that I wanted the most. Um... And it is a big one. It's, you know, 60 by 50. <sighs> this is about all of my loved ones that are, are now in heaven. But it's a beautiful, beautiful piece. And I was afraid it would be a partial. But it is not. I had hoped it would have some crystals. But it doesn't. But you never know what I might do. I might go afterward and look at it and go, boom, this part should have crystals and I happen to have some that will work. So, like I said, you never can tell with me. Alright, so this one's a big one. This is the one that got bent, sadly. Sadly. And it has 23 colors. This is the problem that I do have with the poured glue ones, is that they don't have enough colors. And I wish the companies would understand that just because they're giving people poured glue doesn't mean they can skimp on the the colors. We need more colors for better image definition. It's not that we're being greedy. It's that the more colors you have, the better defined the image is, the better you can see it. Hopefully, we can see this one very, very clearly. It's got that rather flimsy cover on it again. So before I even get this opened up more, let's see how our glue is. Uh, it's pretty sticky. And it's pretty shiny symbols are super clear very very clear let's show you you know this is a very very dark area and it has light symbols the light areas have dark symbols that's what I like to see I don't care what kind of adhesive it has on it that's what I like to see because then I can see what I'm doing and not necessarily pull out one of my light pads so this one may go to the top of the pile. I still need to finish my my sign, but I just it's been a hard struggle for me to sit down and work on that or on my pretty snowflake. This one I love I like butterflies. I'm not like butterflies all over my house. That's that's just not me. But I do like butterflies a lot. And I do know that in some cultures, butterflies symbolize our loved ones that have gone before us coming to visit us. Which I think is awesome. So let's even get this where you can see it. Look at that. Beautiful cherry blossoms with the butterflies. And, of course, what made me draw to this. 
always on my mind, forever in my heart. Now, I've seen this image a million ways. Um, so when they offered me the opportunity to do this, I was very, very happy to have that opportunity. Believe me. We have the same super basic kit. Way basic. GBFKE, I would love to see some baggies with these that are um, packaged by machine rather than in individual, where, where the diamonds aren't in individual baggies. That's where we need baggies. Luckily, I do have quite a few. And here we go. Lots of diamonds. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, that's got some pretty bright colors. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh. We do love those. We do love those. And I love jewel tones. I have a thing for jewel tones. Strangely enough, what I draw and paint is nature. And it's usually very muted tones. But I love jewel tones. The ring that I have to send in for repair is, you know, purple and green and teal. It's a color shift stone. I like bright colors in certain things. Okay, so we have lots of number 14 right there. Ooh, we're, that's close, guys. It's close. It's got very close. We're lucky. Okay, so number 14 we have tons of, obviously. Let's figure these out, because apparently they seem out of order. I cannot tell why. We will find out. All right. So. Well, they're not. It's just that number 14 is separate. Okay. So. Ooh, I love these. I'm guessing that's 550. <laughs> yep. Ah, 550. Good old purple violet. Very pretty. So this does again have legends on top right. Or jeez, I always get that mixed up. Lower right and top left. Yes, it does have the DMC codes. So there we go again. Really good thing. Uh, <laughs> my daughter Sarah would love that color. <laughs> Two bags of number 10. Four. Four bags of number 11. So obviously that's our dominant color. Which is 823. And this little bit of a mustardy color. Hmm. I'm wondering where that goes. Okay. Up on one of the butterflies. Alright. So that's 13, 14. Let's go from there. Okay. This is so backwards. <laughs> <coughs> we have two bags of number 15, which is 939. That was about the pink that was on Snowflake's collar. Mm. Pretty teal. Now that, that pretty much matches my sweater. Love that color. I, I like purples and teals, guys. Sorry, I just do. 23. We have all of our colors. So we have three beautiful diamond paintings. Thank you so much, DBFKE. We will have one or two whipping chats. I like to try and get in one whipping chat per painting for you guys. Um, I used to do tons of whipping chats with the paintings, but I found that uh, I was bored, so I have to presume that everyone else was getting bored with it, too. If that's not the case, let me know. I can do extra whipping chats. Those are, in some ways, harder to film, and in some ways, easier. Harder because I have to come up with things to talk about. <laughs> but, yay, GWKE, thank you so much. These will go so beautifully here in my home because they definitely signify things that I love and I know many of my viewers love and can have a strong attachment to. Oh, 
that is so gorgeous. Oh, and the glue is so nice and shiny and even. Oh, I love seeing them like that. But this flimsy cover, ah, <laughs> kind of gives me the creeps. Hopefully, it won't give me any problems with tearing, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. There we go. Now that corner's down. So, oh, I hope that you all have just a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And you will see more videos very soon. My thoughts and prayers are with all of you, as always. God bless you all. Bye.